One of our favorite aspects of the 201 Pocket Piano is that its synth modes and note patterns are modular, so you can apply one of the six note patterns to any six of the synth modes, and vice versa. The six note patterns are selectable from one of these six keys and shift button. Some of the patterns play arpeggiated notes, while others may simply repeat notes at the tempo. Here's an arpeggio pattern. It happens to be written in pure data. Although this pattern is customizable, you'd have to be comfortable with pure data programming language to do so. This next pattern is cool because it's a type of note pattern that is easy to customize. We call these text patterns because they read a pattern from a simple text file. Just open the file in a basic text editor, type in some changes, and save it, and voila, you'll have a new sound for your 201. Here are a few other examples of text patterns. You can have just one, or as many as six, text patterns loaded on your 201. There's even a version of a text pattern that runs parallel to the keyboard, giving you sustained notes alongside custom tempo-based patterns. This video will show the text pattern editing process step by step. Let's see what's making this text pattern happen. First, I'll switch into disk mode on my 201. There's a link that covers disk mode in the description below. If I open the drive labeled 201 Pocket Piano, enter the PD folder, Patterns, and the fifth pattern, Text Pattern Up Down. You'll see there's a pattern.txt file in here. If I open that, you can see the arpeggiation. Each line is either a note or a rest. Each note requires three variables. One, a note value. A zero is the note you are pressing, also known as the root note. To transpose the root note, simply enter a positive or negative number. For example, a 12 would play an octave above the root, a negative 24 would play two octaves below. Two, a volume. A is the loudest setting. As you progress through the alphabet to J, the quieter the note becomes. Three, duration. The longest note is a whole note. Duration is always relative to 201's current tempo setting. A whole note is specified with a one. A half note is written with a two and so on. This system is flexible. For example, you can program a ninth note or a 33rd note. A rest is set with an underscore. The number after the underscore sets the rest duration. As with notes, a whole note rest is specified with a one. A half note rest is written with a two and so on. So the pattern is root note, 12 semitones up, 24 semitones up, and then back down to 12. Or said another way, a note with an octave up, then two octaves up, then back to the first octave. Let's write our own text pattern. First, we'll copy the one that's in here now and save it to the computer as a backup. I feel like hearing a major chord, so I'll start with a root note at full volume, and I'll write a 4 to make it a quarter note. Then I want to hear 4 semitones up, which is a major 3rd, at a slightly lower volume, and a 16th note. Then a rest for the same amount of time. And the 5th, which is 7 semitones up, at full volume, for an 8th note. If I save this file, then reload the 201, and select the text pattern, I can hear my major chord pattern. Let's make this a little more interesting. It'll go from a major chord to a minor chord. So now I'll add a minor third, which is three semitones up, full volume, quarter note, another fifth, full volume, for an eighth note, then I'll add a rest, and the octave at a lower volume. I'll save the pattern, 
reload pure data. And open the text pattern again. Now I hear a major chord going to a minor chord. This pattern happens to be in 4-4 time because the sum of all my note durations is two measures. There are many more options to explore when writing text patterns. For example, you can write detuned notes by adding decimals to note numbers or disregarding the 4-4 time signature, etc. For more information on text patterns, there's a section in the 201 manual for this. Link in description. Now that I've written this pattern, I think I'd like to share it. Save it, close it, rename the pattern. I'll call it text pattern major minor. Save it to my computer and zip it. If I go to the 201 Pocket Piano patch storage page, I can select Upload and fill out these fields. Now my pattern is available for everyone to use. Enjoy exploring text patterns and make your 201 sound exactly how you want it to sound.